Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is May 11th opener in, in Minnesota. So good luck to everybody out there that's fishing this weekend. Um, this video will probably come up Wednesday of the after opener. But uh, as you can see, you got the lake behind me here. We're going to be out fishing. It's going to be myself, Jared, my dad, and Ricky, our buddy. So um, we're going to get out there and uh, let's go straight catch some walleyes. Keep it tuned. Dad, you and Jerry can compete for missing the most fish. Oh yeah, I would guarantee you. There's a fish. It was right there, I don't know where it went. Yeah? No. He's got the metal board. Nope, little eye. Double. That's a good, that's a nice, that's a good wall. No, but, I know I got a panfish rod, but. Not terrible. Look at the gold on that. Yeah, gold, holy cow. Yeah. Fish fry. First one of the year. For nice him. one. Get up nice. Throw him. Box. Throw him. There's one. Oh, okay. There you go. You missed oh. it? I lost it. I set the hook pretty good on that yeah, one. Yeah, you did. Oh. <laughs> There we go. That is a nice man sort of water. Oh, oh, there it is. There is. I thought that was a rock at first. at the same spot in the front. I got him! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, off, right That's head. why, because <laughs> yeah, I had given him slack in the same spot. It barely, it barely grabbed onto it. I did. Was it? That was where my rod's bent over. Quarter. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
You in here. All right, everybody. So we concluded our morning. We, between the four of us, we got all four limits for walleyes. We ended up with a couple bonus perch and a bonus crappie. But I don't know how well together that was put. Um, I suppose I'll see when we edit it. But uh, we got quite a few fish. I think we're gonna turn this more into a catch and cook episode because we're gonna go cook up some of the walleyes right now for lunch. So we're gonna pull them out of the live well, bring them up there. Ricky's gonna fly them up and. Uh, We'll see what we got in store for some lunch. Sounds good to me. Be prepared for the grease. How'd you make this? What'd you put on? Chef Roberts um, Cajun seasoning. Okay. I dip, dust it with seasoned flour, then go into eggs, and then into the Cajun seasoning. So it's a process. It's a process, but it's good. It's but worth it. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Is this how you do it most of the time? Right? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I kind of gave up on doing beer batter. Beer batter, we would have been done eating and sleeping by now. But. <laughs> True. But, this is better though, uh, in no, my opinion. I don't. You're better to be the, just right. And, and, yeah, and it gets oily if you don't cook it right. Yep. Uh -huh. And then it can wreck the fish. That's there good. It is. So just the right amount of heat. Flour, egg, Cajun seasoning. Perfect. And you don't even like hot things. No. And they're that spicy that they have a Not at all. But they're still spicy enough because I love my Cajun. Did you drop in the dirt? <laughs> <laughs> no. For all you that uh, are worried about it being too spicy, I absolutely can't stand hot foods. My mouth would normally be on absolute fire right now, but super good. It has like that seasoned flour, like you said, and dipped it in egg and just a little it's almost just a little dusting of Cajun. There's not much on there. It just adds flavor, more or less. And uh -huh. Nothing better than straight from the water into the grease. That's what you would say. That's my favorite. Doing taste good in the drink. <laughs> right on the ice. Oh, that's unbelievable. That mm -hmm. Cajun is... It's not hot. hot. It just adds that. Like I said, I love heat when it just adds flavor. It adds depth. That's what this is. Uh, I like super spicy things. And this still, no. still is good enough to where I think it's good with spice. Mm -hmm. I better let your dad have some. You have some? It's a whole other plate though. Well, I know, but.